What is going on guys? It is your boy Tor, back again for another video. If you guys haven't seen my summons from last night, man, you gotta go check it out, man. I'll have a link in the description so you can go see that. It was uh, definitely, definitely a lit stream, a really fun stream. So for anyone that was there, shout out to you guys. I appreciate, appreciate you guys coming through and hanging out with the boy. And Jen, of course, because Jen was there. And Broomchan. Broomchan was there. She was kind of a little disappointing, man. But, oh, my phone's dying. Great. Um, yeah, go check it out. Anyways, with that said, we ended up pulling Okiora, obviously. That's why we have him on screen. So since last night, I haven't used him, really. I only went ahead and actually uh, worked on getting some uh, Transcendence because I just needed some of the small scrolls. So I did some Chronicle quests. And I ended up getting him 10 SP, right? So... We only got one copy of him, which is okay. That's all we really wanted. And uh, yeah, so this is what he's looking like so far, uh, like in, in terms of stats and then transcendence uh, and his soul trait. So he's got uh, 1298 SP. So again, we, we, we upgraded that through the transcendence. He's a 14 recharge time link. Um, this is what he has in terms of skills, which I actually, this is like where the, like, I think he could have just slightly been a little bit better. I mean, he's a ranged unit. He's uh, got a 40% Bruiser, which is actually pretty good, with 40% uh, Berserker, Devastation. He also has uh, Frenzy with uh, Weakened Defense and Guard Break and Sprinter. And so um, what we're going, going to go ahead and do is we're going to take him on two runs. This first build we've got on him is actually the incorrect build that we're running with. We've got Detention Tie, Fortification Pill, a Spotted Chair, Biakvia, Biakvia. And Grim Chow. So that's going to be a pretty decent build because, of course, we get a combination of recharge and strong attack damage. But the thing about this Ukiora, the way I see him is that he's he's good. There's nothing like super, super like stand out. The biggest like thing that sets him apart from like other characters would probably be the fact that he has like guard break. Um, but you know, even still, he's missing like status ailment. Uh, He's missing a couple other things, but he's he's still good. Like Havoc would have been the only thing I would have just loved. Like it would have made him, in my opinion, just spot on a really good character. Um, he's still gonna be good though. And actually, what the fuck? Maybe I should shut up because that range was actually clean on that first. And I can't use my strong attacks clearly. The beam doesn't look bad just off first glance. Like, yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Second, okay. Okay, he doesn't look too bad actually. Maybe, oh, I'm so bad. Maybe I was just overlooking his, uh, like I'm over here saying he needs Havoc, but he might not really. Yeah, dude, this guy's pretty clean. Havoc would be nice, but it's not needed, honestly. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, I'll be, well, the thing is, Havoc would have made him just that much better, but he's actually not looking too bad. He just looks like a good, solid character, right? He's just solid. That's the best way of, like, putting it, in my opinion. He's just solid, right? He's just solid. He's a solid unit. Um, he's not the best, but he's definitely, like, above average, maybe? I don't know. Special's pretty clean. I mean, you know, when you see OG Ukiora at, like, have an actual special uh, in the game, like, that's always going to be a, a, a dope time. Um, you know, as you all know, Ukiora, or, you know, some of you might not know, but Ukiora is my favorite character of all time in Bleach. And I've been wanting, a re you know, an OG form of Ukiora for, like, the longest of time. And finally, with us getting this one, it's, it's nice, dude. It really is nice. Um... So yeah, I, I, it's been a long time coming, if I'm being honest, though. So next one, we're going to do uh, Sinkaizen instead of the 14 recharge. And um, yeah, we'll go with this build. I think this obviously is the ideal build. This is how I usually run my characters. Um, it's just like you're going to put in e even more damage. And then the recharge time from both uh, Biakvias and the strong attack damage. Dude, it's a, it's a, it's a nutty build, man. It's really good. Um... We'll go ahead and take this on uh, another run. But yeah, all in all, like I feel like he has a good kit. He has a good kit. Um, yeah, that beam is actually a lot better than I expected. But look, you see, that's the difference between a character with like Havoc and what he has. He has no range on his second behind him. Like his second, when, when he uses his second behind him, it doesn't do anything. 
and other characters will have a second that uh, that actually gets more range than that, right? It'll get some characters behind the behind the actual strong attack, the AOE. It it, ex it expands, right? It, well, that's what Havoc is. It expands by 20%. So that would have just been the the ideal skill to have have gotten, right? Um, yeah. Oop. Okay. I like that he ha he got guard break though. Both 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 of the more recent Ukiyoras both got gu guard break, but they didn't get havoc or anything, which is why it's kind of like I don't even know. Is this one better than the Machine Society Ukiyora? I don't know, man. Actually, that's a that's a good question. Which one do you guys think is better, this one or Machine Society? I would say. I would say I like this one more because it's it's Ukiyora in his you know cannon form. It's not like a seasonal. Don't get me wrong, Machine Society Ukiyora is dope and all, and I literally have him transcended all the way. But you know it's always nice to have an original character, or not original character, but oh well, yeah, original character, um, as into the series, right? Original to the series. So yeah, pretty happy with the with the character. Um, could have done a little bit better, but that's all good. That's all good. All right, so these two builds, he gets through the through the run pretty fast. I mean, a minute and 21 seconds. Like, the way I can compare him to, like, the one character, like, I flat out just see it, is they copy and pasted his, uh, this form with Technique Rukia. Technique Rukia has the same kind of, like, kit. Like, literally the same kit, but she does have Freeze. I'm kind of curious to see what the differences are. So, he gets Guard Break. That's the one difference, which is big. And he does get an increase on, like, Strong Attack. On his berserker, his bruiser, yeah. But uh, she's got the, the the freeze. But I mean, all in all, man, I like Ukiora. Uh, you know, I I feel like I feel like they could have done a little bit better. Um, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So I'll take it. I was gonna see if there was maybe like co-op for Inheritance Zone to take him on, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, it doesn't look like we do. Um, Honestly, uh, I'll probably try to five out of five him in the future whenever we get, you know, him as a filler or if I pull him off tickets, I'll obviously try my best to five out of five him. I might go into the individual like steps one through five at most, but we'll see. We'll have to, we'll have to think about that. Um, yeah, dude, best of luck on your summons. Again, comment down below which form of his you think is better. Do you think this character form is better or Machine Society Okiora? Out of the two, like I said, I prefer this one because he's a uh, cannon. But let's talk about like the kit. Like, do you guys think he's better as as a character in general, or would you uh, would you say this one's better? So comment down below. And with that said, appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Uh, link in the descriptions to my summons. It was a lit freaking stream. I think we 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 got kind of cut until like this massive pull where you guys will will have to go ahead and check it out. Uh, to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, I'm going to upload a review on Yoroichi later on in the day. So be on the lookout for that. Other than that, again, best of luck on your summons. Catch you guys in the next one.